Number 85. Propane, which is C3H8, is a hydrocarbon that is commonly used as a fuel. Letter A. Write a balanced equation for the complete combustion of propane gas. Okie dokie. So this one's going to kind of be a little bit of overview, right? We've done tons of problems in the previous chapter about how to make a balanced equation, how to actually balance it. So let's see if you guys can do this, right? We're doing a combustion reaction. So that means that we have to have a hydrocarbon and we're using propane. So I'm just going to say for letter A, we have to start off with our hydrocarbon, C3H8. They tell us that it's a gas, so maybe I'll put the states in here, right? And remember, in order for a combustion reaction to happen, the hydrocarbon has to be in presence of in air, aka oxygen. So it's always plus O2, and that's a gas. And when these two come together, you will form the two products for combustion. Carbon dioxide, CO2, and that's a gas, and then H2O. Now the H2O in the combustion reactions are also gases as well. Right, when you light a fire, right, and, you, and you're burning a fuel, you don't see liquid water spilling out all over the place, right? You, it comes off as a gas form. Now we just got to balance. So you could pause the video and see if you could balance it and then just check with my answer. But let's, let's get down to it. I have three carbons, so I have to put a three here. I got eight hydrogens here. So I'm going to put a four in front of here. Four times two is eight. And then let's see, I'm going to count my oxygens. I have six total oxygens here, plus I got four oxygens here. So that's a total of 10. I'll put a five in front of here because five times two is 10. And letter A is done. Whew. All right, now moving on to letter B. It says, calculate the volume of air at 25 degrees Celsius and one ATM that is needed to completely combust 25.0 grams of propane. Now assume that the air is 21.0% O2 by volume. And now hint, we will see how to do this calculation in a later chapter on gases. But for now, use the information that one liter of air at 25 degrees Celsius and one ATM contains 0.275 grams of oxygen O2 per liter. Great. I love it when they introduce concepts that we haven't gone over yet, right guys? <laughs> but, but we got this. So let's write down the given and what we're supposed to find out, right? So they want to know the volume of air when it is completely combusted with 25 grams of the propane. So it seems like I have 25.0 grams of the propane. And now if I'm writing it underneath here and they're asking for something else, right? Who are we basically solving for? Are we going to solve for O2, CO2, or H2O? Well, it, the answer is in this little hint here, right? It just says, for now, use the information that the one liter of air contains 0 0.275 grams of O2 per liter. So I'm going to have to go to oxygen, O2, because then I can use this type of relationship, this 0.275 grams of O2 per liter. Now, since they gave me grams of O2, I'm going to solve for how many grams is needed of O2 with the 25.0 grams of the propane. This seems like stoichiometry to me. We've done tons of problems. That was all last chapter. So if you need a refresher, go back to that. But basically, remember, it's the whole concept of grams to moles to moles to grams. You can go from a gram of one compound to a gram of another compound using the balanced equation, right? I'm going to start with my, maybe, maybe I'll put this in blue just to show you the color change. But essentially, we're going to start with the 25.0 grams of the C3H8. I can then go to moles of the of the C3H8. And then from there, I can go to moles of the O2. And finally, I can get my grams of O2. So it's like a three-step process. Let's start it out. 25.0 grams, and maybe I'll put G of C3H8. 
eight, right? We don't want grams of propane anymore, right? Make that ratio, throw that unit on the bottom. So grams of C3HA goes on the bottom. And remember, just look ahead. Moles of C3HA goes up on the top. When we're going from a gram to mole of the same compound, that's the periodic table. And remember, there's always one mole on the periodic table for whatever this compound is that we're searching for. So in this case, we're searching for C3H8. So let's get out those calces. So 3 times 12.01 plus 8 times 1.008. Let's see what we get. I get roughly 44, 44.094 grams. Okay, cancel out the grams. And now we're moving on to the next conversion factor. Times by a ratio, throw that unit you don't want on the bottom, moles of C3H8, and now here comes the O2, mole of O2. A mole-to-mole -mole relationship of the different compounds is the balanced equation. These are your coefficients, right? So there's a five in front of the O2, right, right here. So I'm gonna put a five, five moles of O2. There was no number in front of the C3H8. That means that there was a one. So I'm just gonna put a one here. Cancel this out. And now one last one mole of O2 on the bottom, gram of O2 on the top. This is back to the periodic table, right? Because we're going from moles to grams of the same thing. One mole equals two oxygens, so that's 32. Cancel this out. Let's see what we get. So 25 divided by the 44.094 times 5 times 32. And I get roughly 907 We'll cut it off after this. Okay, so 90.72, and that's now grams of oxygen that we have. So just pause the video. I'm just going to get rid of some of this math here. I don't really need this math anymore. The only thing that I basically need is just the number. So just pause the video if you need the math, but it's going bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep, hold on. I press the backspace. No, I guess we just have to do it the old fashioned way, huh? <laughs> Technical difficulties, but we will keep going. All right, so the only thing that I need is now that the 25 grams that was used is gonna give me 90.72 grams of the oxygen, right? Now, we still want to find out what's that volume of air. So, they gave us this relationship. They said that for every 0.275 grams of O2, there's going to be 0.275 grams of O2 in one liter of the air, right? So, I could write this as a relationship by just saying 0.275 grams of O2 per 1 liter, right? Per liter means per, you know, divided by one liter. So I'm just going to use this information. So I'm going to take the number that I have, 90.72 grams of oxygen. I'm going to multiply by the ratio. And that way I will get rid of the grams of oxygen. I will come out with liters of air, right? And let's put in those numbers. It was 0.275 grams of O2. So now the 0.275 goes on the bottom for the one liter of air. Grams of O2 cancels. And now let's see what we get. So we can take that number, 90.72, divided by 0.275. And I get roughly 330. And there is our answer. Three liters of what? This was of air. One liter of air, one liter of air. So this had to be... 330 liters of air. And that, my friends, is the final answer, right? It said calculate the volume of air at 25%. Here's the volume of air, 330 liters. Did we need to know that it was 25 degrees Celsius? No. Did we need to know that it was 1 ATM? No, right? Did we need to know this percentage? No. They gave me 
the conversion factor and that's all we needed. So we have one more video coming your way, right? We have part C and D coming up, so stay tuned, right? And I'll see you and we'll do those then. But for right now, I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments if you want to help us out. Press the subscribe button and I will see you all for part two. All right, bye-bye.